Hello everyone, it's your boy Calculon, and today we're going to be going over the VexCode VR Activity Color Counting Algorithms. Level 1 today, though I'm going to be publishing videos on level 2 and ideally level 3 later. Let's get into it. The first thing we need to do is go to our brand new map, which is Line Detector. All right, a few things about this map. Uh, you'll notice our robot starts down here, but the, but the scenario actually wants us to start over on D. So to move our robot, we're gonna use this kind of GPS signal. Click that and pick D. Now the first level of this project asks us to start at point D and then program our robot to move until it detects the second green line. Validate the solution by using starting point E to run the project again. All right, so we need to move from our starting point to the second green line on D and then validate that by moving to the second green line on E. Notice we can't just use a move to distance here because then when we go over on E, we'll end up on this blank space right before the red line. The hint here is that we're gonna be using the detect tool. So the first thing we're gonna do is look at our sensors. In our sensing options, we have eye sensing. And you'll notice the second angled edges option has front eye or down eye and detects different colors. We care about green in level one, so we're gonna be using this command. However, we certainly need a framework. So what do we want our robot to do? Well, we basically want it to move forward until something happens or to move forward so long as something is happening. So let's go with a conditional movement. So let's use while. Let's have a robot as long as we don't see green, we're gonna move forward. There's also an operator, not, because I want us to move forward so long as we do not see green. And then the sensor, down eye detects green, and we're going to drive forward. But this will do it one time, and it'll stop on this first little patch of green. After this is done, stop driving. So when we run this, we'll move forward to the green, and then it'll stop. But we need it to go to the second green. So let's change this a little bit. Let's just literally duplicate this block, put it into the first block. It'll move forward until it detects green, and then it'll move forward until it detects green again. There's an issue here. Well, it detects green again, right? Because it's still on the green. So let's have it move just a little bit. Let's it move some forward just a smidgen. Let's drive forward for 100 millimeters. That should get us off the green so that it can start moving again towards the next green. Drives forward, drives forward off the green, drives to the next green, and stops. Let's confirm that this works by going to point E. And we should stop up here. Stops on the first green, moves forward. Stops on the second green, boom. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, hopefully this has been helpful and you can now do level one of color counting algorithms. Come back next time where I'm gonna be tackling level two. Have a great day everyone, Bye bye